Hey there kitty cats, your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Picture to Burn by Taylor Swift. I'm looking at my chart here on the screen and I'm going to play it here first and then talk to you about the chords and about the strumming and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we go. It's going to go something like this. Let's go into some specifics about chords and rhythm and all that good stuff, okay? So, the great thing about, oh, let me, let me stop by saying too, any of the techniques that I'm using here today, if you don't understand them, check out yourguitarsage.com, and if you want to look at this chart that I'm looking at right now, it's a number system chart based off the national, national number system. Um, it's a great way of learning your chords, it's a great way of transposing and that sort of thing, and I, and I teach that with an ebook that I've got there on yourguitarsage.com as well. So, any of the questions, um, refer to, those, to that, and also to um, my channel, Your Guitar Sage, where you can get a lot of these questions answered as well, strumming and chords and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we go. Um, so, the chords for this entire song are G, E minor, C, and D. Oh, mm -hmm, yep. And there's one little variation of a, of a G. It's a G with a B in the bass. We'll talk about that when we get to it. Okay, so the song, of course, is in the open position, so there's no need for a capo. And, um, yep, there's no need for a capo. Lost my train of thought here. Okay, and the song's in four, so like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll talk about strumming in. Just gonna break it down to chords. So for the first two beats, you got a G. However, you play a G. You play it like this, like this, like this, like this, like whatever. It's all a G. Um, I like to play this one. So you play that for two beats. An A minor for two beats. Bring your thumb over the neck and mute that. That. Sixth string. If you haven't got that technique down yet, look at some of my other videos. It's really important when you're playing acoustic guitar that you do that. You don't want to have a drone string ringing out all the time. The next chord is a C. And again, you bring that thumb over and you mute that string right there. A D. Muted. Sixth string again. Okay. And basically, that G, A minor, C, D is all, well, let's see, the intro, the, let me look, I'm looking at my chart here, the verses, and the choruses, and the solo, and the outro. So there's one little exception, or a couple little exceptions. Sometimes, um, now these are what we call split measures, so when, when you share, have two chords sharing the same measure, it's called the split measure. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, two chords sharing four beats. Um, okay. At the end of the verse, we have an we have a C that just kind of hangs out there before we go into the chorus again, which is the one. Minor two, four, five, or G, A minor, C, D. Okay, and the only other exception to this is the bridge that goes, uh, let's see. goes one measure of C, one measure of G, I mean one measure 
through C, we'll measure D. And we have a split measure of C, G, with a B in the bass. So instead of grabbing a regular G, you grab your G with a B in the bass. And so it's a regular G, but what I'm doing is I take my first finger and I play that B. This is a B note. And I kind of fat finger it. I lay it up against this other, I lay it up against that sixth string, and then this way, I get that sound instead of this sound. You may not be able to hear it on your speakers there, but basically we're adding that note in the bass instead of that note in the bass. And so we have this kind of walk down. Okay, instead of a little bit different there, you may not be able to hear it right now. Okay. Um, let's talk about the strumming, because really, guys, that is it on this song as far as the chords. It's really simple. Okay. Now, what I'm doing strumming-wise, and again, what we're doing here with a strum typically is maybe not even what the studio instrumentalist or the studio guitar player is doing. A lot of my songs that you'll see me um, cover here are not even guitar tunes. They may be, uh, you know, Such Great Heights or some some other tune where you're just using keyboards. Um, so. Again, what we're doing is, is, is we're listening to the drums, we're listening to the bass, we're listening to everything, and kind of condensing it down to a, to a, to a, a strum that makes sense. So in this one we got... I'm slowing it down for you here. One, two. So it's like a... Slow down, it's going to look like this. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and Now, if you have an issue with that or anything that we're doing here, remember, always bring it down, slow it down, break it down. You can do this, okay? This stuff is not hard. It, it seem, may seem impossible, but it's not. You just got to break it down, just like anything else. So take your left hand, lay it here, and go one and two and three and four and. Okay, before you add the chords and everything else to it to make it confusing, um, you may not be at that level. If you are, then just jump in there. Okay, guys, um, that's it on this. Uh, again, any of the any questions that you might have, watch the video again. Um, it'll probably be answered there. And if you have more um, beginner uh, questions like chords and capos, um, charts and all that good stuff, check out Channel Your Guitar Sage and you can get all that information there. And then also visit the website, your, yourguitarsage.com. And um, hopefully you'll, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and keep checking back, um, putting up videos every day. All right, kids, over and out.